So they are again. I'll repeat the question. The data below pertain to forecast of X Y Z company for the upcoming year. This is the data of the X Y Z company, which is forecasted data. And uh, total cost and unit cost sales is given. Raw material is given. Direct labor is given. Manufacturing overheads are given. Okay. Indirect manufacturing expenses, sales, uh, raw material, direct labor are these are variable nature costs. And variable overheads are given. Selling and general expenses overheads are given. They are saying assuming that XYZ company sells 80,000 units. What is the maximum that can be paid for an advertisement campaign while while still breaking even? So what maximum? What is the maximum that can be paid for an advertising campaign while still breaking even? That is the break even hasn't happened. Are you understanding? That means to break even means what? Reven uh, break break even means sales should be equal to Cost. cost. Okay. Oh. Or the difference between revenue or sales minus cost should be zero. So we will take the sales. We will take eighty thousand units into selling price per unit. Then we will take the variable cost per unit. Four plus seven, eleven. I'm taking all the variable nature ones. Okay. It's totally coming to sixteen. Okay. So eighty thousand into twenty-five minus eighty thousand into sixteen. Is it right? And yes. again, this advertising also is there because they are saying what maximum you have to pay to break even for advertising. So I'll take this as X. Okay. Fine, and mm. this is only about the variable cost. I have to see about the fixed cost also. Fixed cost is three sixty and two twenty five, six seven eight five five eighty five minus five eighty five. Then it should be equal to zero, right? Can you find out the x value and tell me? Is one thousand five lakh thirteen thousand? I'm getting. No, once again, please try. Eighty thousand or eight thousand? That is. Eighty thousand into twenty-five minus eighty thousand into sixteen minus five eighty-five. Eighty thousand into twenty-five. One lakh thirty-five thousand. Okay. Shall I move forward? Yeah, here is one lakh thirty-five thousand is advertising expense. Yes, that's what we took X, right? Okay. Sales, variable cost. These are the three costs: variable cost, fixed cost, advertisement expenses. Because what is the maximum that can be paid for an advertising campaign while still break even? This much we need to pay to break even. If this we are not paying, how we will break even? Okay. There is a shortage of one thirty-five to break even. That is advertising campaign. It seems, right? Yes. Sir. Shall I move forward? Yes. Sir. Go for the next question.
This is the same data what we have seen for Delphi, Delphi company, right? Already data is clear. Shall I move forward? Yes. What are they asking? The maximum after tax profit that can be earned. So the same for same Delphi company, I think Delphi or Doleni, what is that? Donnelly. Don okay, okay, we'll see Delphi company, no problem. Delphi company has developed a new product that will be marketed for the first time during the fiscal year. Although the marketing department estimates that this many units could be sold at this, Delphi's management has allowed only uh, has allocated only enough manufacturing capacity to produce a maximum of this much units of the new product annually. So what they said, this much could be sold at this, mm. they, but the management uh, has allocated only enough manufacturing capacity. That means they they have actually made the company to go for this much units. Okay. Fixed cost, yeah, is budgeted this, and which includes this much for depreciation on new marketing equipment. This are the this the this is the statement. They have given the variable costs, total variable cost. And selling price is already been given to you. Sales minus variable cost is unit contribution margin 20, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. What are they asking? The maximum after tax profit that can be earned by Delphi company from sales of new product during the fiscal year is. Yes. They're asking maximum after tax profit, right? So first we will see whether the company has like at what point they are breaking even correct so yeah. what is the formula for break even fixed cost by contribution per unit 450 yeah. by 20 yeah so how uh, they'll break even at what out how many units two, no. 22,500 So they are asking the target profit actually. Okay. Okay. That is desired profit they are asking. So so the margin is twenty. We already calculated. So see at break even point, all the fixed cost has been recovered, right? Yes. So uh, pre-tax profit uh, means what? Uh, pre-tax profit can be equal to contribution margin uh, times the unit sales uh, break even point. Like I can say profit pre-tax profit is equal to See, see sales minus see break even break even point is what exactly. sales minus cost right correct yes yes sir or say not sales minus sales cost, cost. Uh, sales sorry. is equal to cost right yes now, what do you mean by uh, like uh, break even point is? A contribution margin uh, like. Uh, let's say. Contribution margin means you have already break even, right? Yeah. Break even means all the costs have been recovered. So pre tax profit, I can say. Break even point. This is the break even point. And uh, what is the sales they have to make? 25,000 units they have to sell maximum. Okay, that's what they have fixed. So, how many units they have to sell? 25,000 minus 22,500. What is that? How much? Hello. 
25,000. This is at this at this point they'll break even, and at this point if we sell they'll get uh, profits, right? Yeah, extra. Yeah, that that is nothing but profit. See above the break even whatever you sell is your profit, correct or wrong? Yes, sir. So how okay. much? 2,500, right? Into we will take the contribution margin. 20. And you should know that contribution margin is what actually here. This is before tax or after tax? Before tax. Before tax, yes. Tell me how much you're getting? 50,000. So now, but they are asking what? After tax profit, right? Yes. So how much is your uh, tax rate? 40%. Yes. You should take 60% of this. How much? 30,000. This was a good question. Make a note of this. You yes, said Yeah, next question. Same question we are continuing. Delphi come all the data we know, right? Only what they are asking, we will see. Delphi's Delphi company's management has stipulated that it will not approve the continued manufacture of new product after the new next fiscal year unless the after tax profit is at least this much the first year. Okay. Okay. The unit selling price to achieve the target profit must be at least what? That means to get this target profit, what should be their unit selling price? So we don't know. We will take that unit selling price as X. X. What? How much they need to sell? 25,000. 25,000. So we'll see what is the con uh, variable cost is $16. Uh, dollars, okay, 450 is the fixed cost. You already know. And uh, what is the target profit? After tax target profit is 75. So before tax it would be. So because we want contribution, right? Yes. So 40% is the tax rate. So for 60% represents. Tell me for 100% how much? 125,000. Why, why am I finding pre-tax profit? In because target, you know, this, can, this can act as contribution, right? Yes. So this is the pre-tax desired profit. Desired profit. I already told desired profit should be taken as how? For tax. Pre tax. Yeah. So pre tax desired profit is given. So what is the uh, like uh, formula for getting this profit? Sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost. Then you'll get what? Contribution EBA pro operating. No, here contribution. Contribution minus fixed cost is profit, right? Yes. So how many units you have? 25,000 you can sell. Sales is X. What is the variable cost in the question? $16, right? Yes. What is the fixed cost? 
Forty-five, four lakh fifty thousand. Four lakh fifty thousand. That should be equal to your yes. amount operating okay. profit, pre-tax operating profit, right? You can yes. find out the X value now. Solve it. Thirty nine. Sorry, what do you got? To, X is equal to thirty nine. Yes. So, like, uh, what is the next question? Eight one. Nine one. These are very big questions. So can we take up the next class? Next questions. Okay, sir. So when shall we take up the next class? That's the question. Just a second. Tomorrow is Monday. Tomorrow I have no time, no chance. Tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday evening can be possible. Yeah. Tuesday. Yes, sir. OK, Tuesday evening we can take up the class at what time? Five, I'll be starting six, I'll be reaching. Yeah. If tomorrow evening I'm uh, available, I'll, I'll, I'll message you. We can take the class. OK. Class will be from six to seven. That's all right, right? Yeah. OK. OK, okay somebody. So the target, just a second. The target is to finish 20 questions. We have done till seven, right? I'll see if today I'm free after 8 or 8, 8 p.m. like that. Are you available? Yes, sir. I'll message. Otherwise, tomorrow 6 to 7 we will take up. Okay? Hello? 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 Yes, I'm calling. Yes, sir. Yes. 